Like most of us in community, I was driven by the heart, a vocation and a passion that once started as a spark. Soon became my calling, some might even call it duty. I saw more beyond the role itself, the privilege and beauty. Of the work in the community, so many are naive. They think it's all just bandaging and drinking cups of tea. Don't move from the wards, they say. You will definitely de-skill. But I tell them, I'll keep going, thanks, though the learning may feel uphill. The extent of the demand on us is more than it's ever been. But sometimes you can be the only face that person's seen. In homes, clinics, on the streets, we never close our doors. We really are, in every way, a ward without the walls. I'm under no illusion that on the wards it's hard. But to me, there are also hidden heroes out there in their cars. The issue is long-standing. It's really nothing new. But we know what we do each day and night. We know, me and you. In normal times, this might be hard. But at present, it's so tough. We're burnt out, drained and head to toe in PPE. It's rough. We grit our teeth and smile, keep on going as we are, but sometimes it takes all our reserves to step out of the car. We might share a person's journey for many months or years, and we do all we can at every stage, even if the worst is feared. We touch the lives of many, traveling the city's length and breadth. We share in the joy of new life, hold the hands of those facing death. So, dear citizen of Leeds, please know how much we care, and that if we were so able, we would send our help straight there. Please remember we are human, and please know how hard we try. We will all get through this together, and forget how hard we've cried. Thank you.